Okay, it's time to look at the $420 guy, which I definitely overpaid for this. Oh man. Good morning. Today we're going where no YouTuber has ever gone before. We're going on Fiverr, which is a website where you can hire people to do pretty much anything for as low as $5. And there are thousands of musicians on here that you can hire, but no one that plays the marching tenor drums. So today, I'm bringing the tenor drum heat to Fiverr. Checkmate, standard instrumentalists. I wrote an epic tenor solo, and we're gonna send it out to a bunch of random people on Fiverr and pay them to transcribe it. And this is gonna be really interesting. So I created this epic and super detailed account for Fiverr. So here's the video of the solo I'm gonna send out to everyone. It starts out super easy and gets extremely hard. Epic. So here's what the sheet music looks like, and this is what I expect to get back from everybody. Perfection. And of course, the sticks in is on the end of beat two. Checkmate drum lines who bring their sticks in on the downbeat. Okay, let's find some people on Fiverr to hire. Okay, we are going to search for transcribe. Now there are a lot of people transcribing like languages, but I searched this earlier. There are indeed a whole lot of musicians as well. See, here's one right here. Five dollars. I will professionally transcribe any instrument in this quarantine. Okay, I want to try to hire a variety of instrumentalists. This person is a jazz musician. All right. Please transcribe this drum part so my school's drum line can perform it. Oh my goodness, my school needs to play this. And also I hate that drum line is not in the dictionary. It's not two words, that looks wrong, it's one word. Ah, service fee? Oh, okay, so it's not actually $5 there, Fiverr, now is it? I guess five goes to the creator and two goes to Fiverr. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's buy some more. Okay, scrolling down. Ooh, okay. I will play or transcribe any drum solo. $420? That is ridiculously expensive. But also it's $420. I might have made a really bad choice right there. My bank account will have nothing in it by the time this is done. Please give me a sympathy like on this video. I will greatly appreciate every single one of them. Everyone I hire from here on out has to be $5, okay? We, we gotta stay within some kind of budget. I should have probably set a budget for myself at the beginning of this. Okay, this guy is $10, but he looks like really, really legit. Okay, bassoon guy, I'm hiring you. Okay, good, this person, $5, and they look pretty legit. Oh, you're a cellist. Okay, ooh, this'll be interesting. Okay, definitely gotta hire somebody in the string section. I will transcribe your music and create sheet music for any song. Any song. Okay, oh, this guy's a church musician. Oh, he looks pretty legit. 20 years experience. Sounds good to me. Let's buy it. Okay, I found another drummer here. He's $5. I think this will be a good comparison to see if the $5 drummer can keep up with the freaking $420 drummer. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. I wanna see if I can find a guitar player. Let's keep scrolling. I'm on like the 10th page of transcribers here. Aha, here we go. $5 guitar player. Excellent, exactly what I'm looking for. You're hired. Okay, I'm gonna stop myself here. I think that's plenty of people to do this with. Now, I did hire a couple of drummers. One of them was 420 freaking dollars. But just know that playing these drums is a whole lot different from playing these drums. Very different set of skills are required for each of them. So, all right, now I'm gonna wait a few days and we'll get back to you with the results. It is now a few days later and I am still wearing the same t-shirt. Checkmate people who change their t-shirts. Okay, it looks like we have all eight deliveries. If you guys forgot, I paid $420 to one of these people and I'm going to save him for last because I'm honestly kind of scared to open this. Okay, first we're gonna do bassoon guy because he was first. The easy part, he nailed it. Got all the rhythms right, everything's accented and got all the sticking right, 10 out of 10. The medium part, he also got this perfect. Another 10 out of 10 points. So for the first beat, which was two diddles, he wrote kind of slash eighth notes, which is not really the correct way to write that, but he did put the sticking, which makes me 
realize that he knows that there's three notes in there, however the sticking is not exactly correct. And then for the flams, he wrote double stops, which it's good that he noticed that there was two drums and he got the sticking correct. And in the sextuplet, the drums are pretty close, but not completely right. However, this was a very solid attempt, bassoon guy, and I will give you a seven out of 10 for the hard part. All right, and on to the extreme bar. Okay, it looks like he has sextuplets into 32nd notes, which is pretty close, but not exactly right. So the, the sticking he wrote is very strange. It's a left hand jelly roll. And then at least he got the last three lefts correct. Okay, I don't even know if what he wrote here is possible. Let me... <laughs> okay, the sextuplet he wrote is definitely not possible because it would be this fast. And he has like some sweeps over two whole drums as, as, yeah, I'm not even gonna try that. But the 32nd note part is actually possible. He wrote this. Just kind of close. The nine lick goes like this. So it's incorrect, but it's not horribly off, all right? He was somewhat close. So I'm gonna give Bassoon Guy a five out of 10 for the extreme part. And just looking at the general cleanliness of the page. So he has the accents below the note and like all kinds of up in the staff. That looks a little bit sloppy and kind of hard to read. Usually you will have the accents above the notes. And I think the sticking could be a little closer up towards the staff. That would be easier to read. Once again, because he has the accents below the staff, that'll also push the sticking down. However, I do like how he had all the stem directions facing up. That makes it look a lot cleaner. I appreciate his title, straight and to the point. And his tempo was not correct. It was 104 beats per minute, four clicks off there. So in general cleanliness of the score, I will give you 13 out of 19 points, giving him a grand total of 45 out of 69 points. But wait, he was first. So he gets a bonus point for that, 46 out of 69. Okay, next up we have the cello player. Let's see how she did. Easy part, okay, everything is correct except for she did not put the double stops on poor end. Also, there is no sticking or dynamics written. So she gets a seven out of 10 for the easy part. The medium part. Okay, it looks like we've got some wrong drums here. Okay, so she just put all the inner beats on drum three instead of drum two. That's probably because she's unfamiliar with the configuration of this set of drums. But the second bar, the drums are completely correct. And once again, there's no sticking or accents or anything. So it would be hard to know exactly how to play this. Five out of 10. Okay, and the hard part, oh, this is actually really, really close. So all the drums are correct, even the single sextuplet, which that is pretty difficult to figure that one out. I'm kind of surprised that she got the medium part wrong when she was able to figure out the hard part. However, she did not mark any indication of the grace notes being played in the flam accents. And there's no sticking or accent marking. Seven out of 10. And the extreme part. <laughs> She just wrote eighth notes in for, <laughs> for the five lit and the nine lit. I mean, there's slashes, so I guess that's 16th notes, but still, like, <laughs> she didn't even try to figure that part out. That's kind of funny. And the drums for the end is not correct. The release was on drum three. Three out of 10. And the general cleanliness of the part. So all the stem directions are going up. That looks very nice. It looks very clean and pleasant to look at, but remember there's no stickings or accents, but she did give it an epic title and got the tempo correct. So that's good. 11 out of 19, totaling 33 out of 69. Okay, next we have the oboe player and oh, okay. It looks like she made up her own <laughs> type of notation for this, which once again, I'm sure most of these people have no clue what these drums even are, but I did make it clear that I was doing it for a drum line so they could have looked up how to write for a drum line. So let's see, the easy part. All the drums are correct. However, the rhythm for bars one and three is incorrect. And these rhythms are pretty close, but they are not the same. Seven out of 10, medium part. All of the drums are correct. However, the second bar, she left out a few accents. And also it looks like she's not writing sticking for any of this either. Seven out of 10. Okay, the hard part, it looks like all of the drums are correct. It's kind of hard to tell, hold on. Yeah, okay, the way she's notating this, yes, she got all the drums right. She did not write in grace notes for the flam accents and there's no sticking. Another seven out of 10. Okay, extreme bar, let's, okay, at least <laughs> she gave it an effort here. Went with all 30 second notes, which is not correct. The drum she wrote look impossible unless I play some wacky sticking. <laughs> okay, that's under tempo, it's 
possible slower. I don't think it's possible at 104 beats per minute though. And the drums at the end are incorrect. Four out of 10. The general cleanliness of the page, so you got stem directions going all over the place. There is no sticking. Shaylee's has the accents going above the staff. The tempo is incorrect, but at least the title is epic. Nine out of 19, totaling in 34 out of 69. Moving on, we have guitar player next. Easy part, he nailed it, except there is no indication of the dynamic. So nine out of 10. Medium part, perfect, 10 out of 10. Actually, I just realized he didn't put any sticking. I'm like getting used to the lack of sticking, so I'm gonna lower him one point for each of them for no stickings. Hard part, he got all of the drums correct. Similar to the bassoon guy, he wrote double stops instead of flams, but at least he knew that there was two notes and made it clear. And of course there's no sticking and he didn't put accents over the double stops. So he's gonna get an eight out of 10 for this. And the extreme bar. Okay, he wrote sextuplets and 30 second notes, which is pretty close, but still there's one extra note that he's got in there. Let's see what arounds he wrote. Oh, okay, it looks like he's pretty close to what the arounds actually are. Okay, he's actually really, really close to the drums. He just has an extra note on drum two. And like he wrote in the stick toss and he made it clear that these are rim shots. So I'm gonna give him an eight out of 10 for this because he was really, really close. General cleanliness. So his stem directions are kind of going all over. His accents are fairly consistent. This one's below at the end. He was just one click off the tempo, really close, but he has a super epic title. This is great. And most importantly, he remembered to write in the sticks in and he got it right on the end of beat two and gave very, very detailed instructions on how to end. He will get a 16 out of 19, totaling 49 out of 69. Next we have the church musician. And, oh, okay, so he also did not write for the proper notation of the marching tenor drums. Hey, easy part, he nailed all the rhythms, got all the drums right relative to his notation. However, there is no indication of the dynamic. Eight out of 10, medium part, all the drums are correct, but once again, no indication of accents. Eight out of 10. Hard part, same exact comments. All the drums are correct. He knew there was two notes, even though he didn't put grace notes, but no indication of accents or sticking. Eight out of 10. Extreme part. So he wrote two sex topless, which is definitely not fast enough. What he wrote makes sense. I don't, I don't know if he meant to do that or just got lucky, but that's, that's probably what I would water it down to if I was actually trying to teach a drum line this part. Hey, it works, it actually flows really, really well. But the assignment was not to water it down to something else. It was to transcribe exactly what I wrote. So he will get a six out of 10. General cleanliness. So he has stem directions going all over the place, no sticking, no accents, no tempo. However, he does have a very, very creative title. So he gets a 12 out of 10 for the, 12 out of 19. Have I been saying out of 10 for the last one? It should, the last one should be out of 19. I don't know if I've been screwing that up or not. Totaling 42 out of 69. Okay, and we got our drummer, not the super expensive one, the $5 one. Easy part, got all the rhythms correct, all the drums correct, but no indication of dynamic or accents. Eight out of 10, medium part, got it perfect. All the drums are right, all the accents are right. 10 out of 10, hard part. Finally, we got someone that put the grace notes, and I mean, he's a drummer, he's got an advantage, he knows what a flam is. This is all correct, except for the very last note that should be on the Spock drum and should be a rim shot. Very, very close there, drummer, nine out of 10 and the extreme bar. Oh, hey, he got the rhythms right. Nice job. Let's see if he got the drums right. Actually, I have to air drum through this because it's a complicated part here. Go. Yeah, he got all the drums right in the extreme part. The only thing is he did not put a rim shot on the Spock drum and he did not accent the rim shot on three drum. So he gets a nine out of 10 for that. General cleanliness of the page. Stem directions are all pointing up. He wrote some sticking, not all of it. He got the tempo correct. He gave it an epic title. But what it really took this to the next level is if he wrote the sticks in. But this looks very nice and detailed. So he gets a 17 out of 19. Oh dude. <laughs> I just realized I've been doing this math completely wrong. This is actually out of 59 points. All right, everyone gets some bonus 10 points for participating. Compose a comment right now if you realize that before now. You might have already left a comment telling me I was wrong. This is why I stick to drums here, folks. So drummer got a 63 out of 69. Good job, drummer. Okay, and we got the jazz guy. So he did not notate the proper way. However, he did leave an instrument key up here. We got left drum, right drum, left center drum, right center drum, and center drum. Accurate. Easy part, nailed it, 10 out of 10. Wait, nope, he didn't write dynamics or accents, so I don't know how loud this is. Nine out of 10, medium part. Oh man, this is, <laughs> so you can see his measures are like huge. He has one bar per line. That's pretty hard to read there. Okay, yeah, he nailed it. All the drums are right, all the accents are in the right places, and all the sticking is correct. 10 out of 10, hard part. 
So he didn't write in Grace notes, he just wrote in double stops, but he got all the drums right. He also did not indicate the rim shot on the Spock drum, but he got the sticking, the drums, and the rest of the accents besides that one correct. Nine out of 10, extreme part. Okay, so he wrote all 30 second notes, which is three notes less than what it actually was. Let's see what pattern he wrote here. Okay, that's actually very close. He got the hand motion right of the around. So similar to the church musician, he just, he kind of actually watered this part down a little bit from the original. So he gets a seven out of 10. And the cleanliness of the page. So as I said before, these measures are gigantic and it's very hard to read. All the sticking, is written above the staff, and the lines are so close together that it's hard to tell which sticking is where. But he did give me an instrument key, which was nice. He got the tempo correct and gave it an epic title, 12 out of 19. And then of course the bonus 10 points because I screwed up the scoring, which gives him a 57 out of 69. Okay, let's, let's see what $420 guy gave us here. Oh man, <sighs> wait a minute. I asked my faithful following of morning people to help me with this for the epic price of no dollars. So we had 42.0 people attempt to transcribe this and actually a few people sent in videos of them playing it, wow. So all of these people got the rhythms right in the extreme bar. Nice job. However, the person who had the best transcription overall, I thought was Connor Rabel. So he not only got all of the rhythms right and all the drums right and all the accents right, he went above and beyond with the details here, writing in dynamics that correlate with both the accents and the tap heights. He also used capital and lowercase letters to represent accents versus taps. He notated all of the crossovers and got them all correct. He gave detailed instructions on how to do the visual at the end, and he nailed the crispy sticks in on the end of beat two. So for that, Connor, you will win this epic autograph picture of me playing my first tenor solo in high school. Okay, it's time to look at the $420 guy, which I definitely overpaid for this. Oh man. This is actually really good. So he got the rhythm in the extreme bar correct. That's the first thing I'm looking for here. So, okay, wait, let's go through this. Okay, easy part, nailed it, 10 out of 10. Medium part, nailed it. He even wrote the crossovers in, 10 out of 10. Hard part, yep, got everything perfect. Got the diddles, got the flams, got the rim shots, crossover, oh, and he even put Tenuto accents over the sextuplet. 10 out of 10. Okay, clearly this, this guy has some drumline experience. And the extreme bar, we got, okay, yeah, we got Tenuto's over the sweeps, definitely. We got the putter to putter to three. Got instructions on the visual, and most importantly, the sticks in on the end of beat two. He nailed it. 10 out of 10. And the cleanliness of the page just looks pretty much perfect. I also like how he used portrait mode. 19 out of 19, giving him a perfect score of 69 out of 69. Even though he was 420 freaking dollars ridiculously overpriced, I'm gonna still go ahead and recommend him if you need to transcribe anything. So let's go to his profile. Here's his profile, masked guy. Do you guys really think that I would pay someone that much money to do this? April Thank you guys so much for watching this video. This is actually really entertaining. And here are the final scores of the actual participants. I was honestly pretty impressed with how well everybody did on this. Like nobody was like completely terrible and got awful. Like everyone for the most part got the rhythms right and clearly spent a lot of time figuring out what the drums were. And while this video was kind of intended to be sort of an April Fool's joke video, I will consider doing this again. Please compose a comment if that is something you would like to see. Oh, and looky there. Mask Guy's doing a face reveal at 100,000 subscribers. So make sure that you click that subscribe button and ring that Liberty Bell and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.